What makes the nerve cells, also called neurons, so special? They produce and conduct electrical signals. Because of that, we can think, remember, make decisions, act, react, and so on. If I speak, it's because of those electrical signals. If you listen and watch, it's because of those signals. But what is the signal? We call it action potential, or AP. Where is it? It spreads along the cell membrane like a wave, shown in the picture by the arrow. Now we need to look closely at the membrane and all the electrically charged particles on both sides. First of all, most of those electrically charged particles, molecules and ions, cannot easily pass across the membrane. They are separated by it and stay either inside in the cytoplasm or outside in the extracellular fluid. On balance, there are more negatively charged particles inside and more positively charged particles outside. Why is that? One of the reasons is the proteins. They are mostly negatively charged and there are many more proteins inside the cell than outside. In a way, it is similar to the electrical battery that you see in the top right corner. There are two poles, positive and negative. We can say that the membrane that separates the charges is polarized. There is plus on one side and minus on the other. Then what is polarization? It is the usual state of the membrane, negative inside, positive outside, that's all. Can we measure this difference? Yes, it's been done by getting one wire inside the cell and another outside. The difference is called transmembrane potential, and in the resting cell it is about 70 millivolts. You don't have to remember the number just know that it is negative because the inside of the cell is negatively charged and we call it appropriately resting potential, RP. You can see this RP on the right. It is represented by the horizontal line on the graph and it is not changing much as the time goes by. Another important fact is the sodium and potassium ion concentrations. Sodium, Na+, is in red and potassium K plus is in green. You can see that there is much more sodium outside the cell than inside and there is much more potassium inside the cell than outside. I use the size of the letters to show where the concentration is higher. The bigger the letters, the more ions you've got. Actually, the difference is much greater than that. There may be many times more of the ion on one side than on the other. With such great concentration differences, there is some leakage. Uh, there are so-called leak channels in the membrane, both for sodium and potassium. They are open all the time, and the ions move from the area of high concentration to the area of low concentration by diffusion. This movement is shown by the arrows from high level to low. The leakage is small but continuous and it can change concentrations over time. Imagine a boat with a leak. What do you do to keep it afloat? You need to pump the water out. It is the same with ions. Uh, there are so-called sodium-potassium pumps in the membrane, proteins that move sodium out and potassium in from low level to high. This is active transport, and it requires ATP for energy. For each ATP molecule used, uh, three sodium ions get out and two potassium ions get in. I always forget which one is three and which one is two, but I remember that the electrical balance is negative. Three pluses out and two pluses in means a loss of one plus for the cell, which makes the cytoplasm less positive and more negative. Also, I remember that there is more sodium outside, which means that three pluses out is for sodium as it goes from low level to high. Then two pluses in is for potassium, which also moves from low level to high. Now the stage is set for generating the action potential. All you need to remember is that inside is negative and there is more sodium outside and more potassium inside. 
In the second part, we will see how the movement of sodium and potassium ions across the membrane changes the transmembrane potential. It goes from negative to positive and back. This fast change up and down is what we call action potential.